I'm going to show you how to request a normal change using the Technical Assistance application in My Proximus Enterprise. First, log in to My Proximus Enterprise, then click Follow Up in the menu. Various different blocks or widgets to assist you will appear. For a technical ticket, select Create New Ticket. The IT Service Management application opens immediately. The homepage shows a number of clickable widgets and the search bar. Depending on your profile, the number of options may vary. Click Request a Change. The Change Catalogues page opens. Under Company Selector, select the company for which you want to request a change. The list of available categories may vary depending on the company you selected. Select the type for which you want to request a change. In the Normal Change type, choose the category group Generic, which is reserved for a normal change. You are shown the catalogue items that are available with type changes that you can request. Click Request a Normal Change. Fill in the various fields of the form. The account or company you previously chose via Company Selector is already entered here. Select the product for which you want to request a change. If there are already open tickets for this product, an overview appears here. Select the business service linked to the product. If there is only one, it has already been entered and you do not need to do anything. The linked contract and location are selected automatically. This may take a few seconds. The short description field is optional. By default, the request will get the selected item in the catalog with the action variable. You can add to this title to make it more specific. Then enter as much detail and technical information as possible about what you want to change. In the business purpose field, Enter as much information as possible about which business needs this change relates to, the potential impact on the business during the change, and how many users will be impacted by the change. If you want, you can request a specific time when the change will be made. Enter a start date and end date, possibly a time slot, and the reason for this specific moment. The last step is to select the contacts that are important in communications about this ticket. Select the contact from the contact list, the communication channel. Check whether the phone number and email address are correct and indicate whether this person is on site or if there is a technical contact on site via responsibility. This enables us to contact the right person. If everything is entered correctly, click Add. Do this for every contact. The cost for this request cannot be calculated at this stage because there is no contractual context for a normal change request. The cost of the request will be calculated on a ticket-by-ticket -ticket basis. Click the Submit button. The confirmation of your request appears. Click Go to Ticket to see a complete overview with all the details. You will receive a notification with a proposal when your request has been processed. You can either accept or reject the proposal. When the cost proposal has been made, you can view it on the overview page via the widget Tickets Awaiting Customer. If you have enough credits for this change, the proposal will be based on those credits. If you do not have enough credits or no credits, the request is invoiceable. The proposal is then displayed with an SRF as in the following example. Click the ticket to go to the details. Next to the ticket with the short description, the ticket number, urgency, service ID, ticket status, account, contact for this ticket. You are shown the block with ticket actions. Click review and approve proposal. The SRF document opens. It shows the details of the company the request refers to, who is responsible for approving the ticket on behalf of the company, the ticket reference number and the purpose of the request. 
Any comments or additional information from the agent can be found under description. You can also find the conditions under which Proximus wants to do this and a detailed breakdown of the costs in euros. There are two fields to fill in under Article 5. In the For the Attention of field, enter your name or the name of someone else in the company to whom the invoice should be addressed. This field is required if you want to accept the proposal. If you do not want to accept the proposal, you can leave this field empty. The Reference field is free for you to enter any text you think appropriate. Finally, Check the statement that you accept with the proposal or do not accept the proposal. In this example, I click Accept. Finally, click the button Approve Proposal when you accept the proposal. When you accept the proposal, the status on the page with the ticket details changes to Scheduled. The request has therefore been scheduled for implementation by our teams. In the chat bar, you can follow the status step by step and communicate with the designated specialist. You will also find a link with Accepted in the communication. Click the link to open the SRF document with all the details as shown. You can find information about the SLA and an overview of the contacts for this ticket at the bottom, and the notification sent linked to this ticket under Email. You can consult these details at any time. Proximus. Think possible.